to your favorite channel, Sandbox TV. This is a new episode of the Obama Show. The Obama Show where we share hard work, where we value hard work and teach you, you English. Today, as usual, on our show, we have a special guest. And together, let's discover who the guest is, who the biography, my job for the biography. Usman Ban is a young and motivated English teacher. He holds a master's degree in American Civilization and Literature from Sheikh Anta Diop University, a national English degree from BEPA, and a professional teaching degree from CAECEM. He also has experience studying in the UK at Cambridge University. Usman was recently appointed president of the chess chapter of ATES. He is also the secretary for social affairs for ATES National. In addition to his work as an English teacher, Usman is also a teacher of French and Wolof for foreigners. He is very civically engaged and enthusiastic about helping his community through volunteering, community service, and his knowledge of the English language. He is the coordinator of English Challenge English Family, which aims to educate and provide free English lessons and activities for children. He also hosts the weekly English radio show, Ijang. Usman also works with the Jaraji Association, which aims to support child protection and women's empowerment. He brings his training as a gender champion with the Peace Corps to his work with young women and girls and the Taliban children. Usman is a very caring member of the community and is always willing to help everyone. Thank you, Mr. Ban, for coming. Thank you, Mr. Obama. Uh, thank, thank you so much. Good, good to see you, too. And by the way, congratulations on your... Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. How do you feel about... Yeah, I'm fine, but I think that is Alhamdulillah, because uh, I think that it's a long work, and it's a long work, because I have like a long story with the English language. Mm -hmm. As a young boy, I used to be like a scientist, and I decided to leave everything and then follow my dream, which was the English language. So you have a strong passion for the English language? For sure, because wow. uh, I had like a kind of future for the English language, and I decided to follow my way, my way which was the, through the English language. And now I think that I may say Alhamdulillah. I start doing a lot of good things through the English language. Okay. Um, hopefully, you know, we'll be um, seeing changes uh, in uh, what comes, what, what, what comes to uh, other activities. Mm -hmm. Over the last few um, years, we have seen some decline. We have, you know, all noticed it. How do you think we could bring some change in? For sure, I really do and I really strongly believe in innovation mm -hmm. and we will for sure innovate through ATES. So ATES is like uh, we're laying down in the like two years ago, but now we will think that with the new generation we will have great and nice things. I don't want to promise, I promise little, but I will do much for sure. So teachers of English who are yes, they can expect ATES to be what it used to be before. For sure, or more than that. More than that. Mm -hmm. And how about your activities with the English club? Because ATES used to organize the biggest English club activity in chess. Mm -hmm. I remember all of us have been participating as mm -hmm. students, mm -hmm. and today we, we don't see that anymore. Yeah, for sure. I, I, I said a while back, two years ago, ATES was laying down and teachers of English, they were like, I may say a little bit uh, worried about that. But we will come back with new activities. We will come back as well with new uh, schedules. And then for sure, we will have like more, an, more than a, a festival. We will have also other activities going through uh, remote areas for teachers of English for their professional development. So, and, so and if you talk about professional development, what kind of activity? Uh, you know? We plan to have like many workshops, inshallah, uh, through ATES. And then we will go. The target is not those who are in the city, but those who are uh, in, in remote areas. So I think that those teachers, they really need professional development. And then we will go through insightful people so as they may come and help us uh, with uh, uh, trainings of the uh, some teachers even. Okay, so you are working closely with some partners? Uh... For sure, we are working with some partners and then we have like great people over here, great teachers, very insightful teachers, and then we will go through those people and then we will for sure 
come and work with uh, uh, teachers of English around chess and beyond chess even. Okay, you, you've been a very you know, successful, if I can say so, and very you know, involved, motivated English club leader, English mm. club member. Um, you have also a dynamic member in your board who is in charge of English club in uh, your region. Yeah, uh, I think we have Mr. Jallo, Mohamed Jallo, and I say hello to Mohamed Jallo. And Mr. Jallo, hello. Okay, from uh, Ates Chess as well. Uh, I think that he will also do a great job because I know that he is very, 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 very dynamic. He is very motivated relating to activities, uh, relating to the activities of English clubs as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you are a teacher of English and uh, new president of Ates. How do you feel about you know, as a teacher. Yeah. I always say Alhamdulillah when it comes to having a new thing. It's not like a glory for me. It's not like a, uh, a new position where I will say, well, I am the boss or anything like this. Whenever it comes to, whenever something new happened to me, I just say, thank God. I thank God first. And then I think that it is not a privilege, but it is like a challenge because I am a challenge taker and I want to overcome all the challenges. Well, I just like uh, my new position as a president of ATES. I think that it is something great, but I will, I will, it is a big challenge and I will be relaxing and then do the job like uh, any, any other or more than uh, as a president as well. Okay, our viewers, this is Mr. Usman Ban, the new president of the Association of Teachers of English in Senegal, the branch of chess. And apart from what he's doing as a teacher, he's doing what we do call community service activities in chess with those people we call the street children, or in other words, Taliban. Can you tell us a bit about um, your activities with the Taliban community service as okay. we go to the Thank you so much. This is what I love the most because whenever I came in English Challenge, I think that an English club can do more than coming and learn about English and go. I think that whenever we include community service, it's like something great because we uh, shape leaders of tomorrow. Because if ever we help our students to uh, do community service and service learning, it is something great. Well, I started with a new, a new thing because I like so much new uh, activities. I like so much innovation. I came in English Challenge and I say, what I will do will be very original. I will try to help some Talibé who have never set their feet at school and then go to learn the English language. And then we start, some people were saying, it's not really possible. But whenever they see now Talibé speaking English, writing, going through Facebook, WhatsApp, they really understand that it's really possible. Because a Talibé is like any other person. They are really clever. OK, they have like uh, something in their mind, and then they really know how to do things. We can give them like a chance to go and then learn another language. And then that language was uh, English. And then so now they are like uh, uh, very good guys, they are like, they have hope in, in their life. Because I think if ever you have hope, you have direction, the energy to move, and then the map to move by. And then those Taliban are going through their way. And then now many of them, they are in Dubai, they are in the Gambia, they are all around Senegal, okay? And then they are doing the best so as they may succeed in life. Let's get back to you in a while. We talk more about your community activities with mm -hmm. the Taliban. Mm -hmm. Now, place to the class by Mr. Pagan Medjouf for English class. So thank you, Mr. C, and welcome back to your rubric, the lesson of the day of the Obama show. This is your brother, Mr. Jupe Papagana, and I am a teacher of English. Our today's class will be on saying goodbye. How to say goodbye. Do you want to discover it? Let's get started. You know, saying goodbye is only one way to end a conversation. And there are a lot of idiomatic expressions that people use when the conversation is over or when they have to leave. And now here are some important ones. Greetings and responses. I can tell you, have a good day. Have a good day. And the answer will be, have a good day too. I can tell you, take care. And the answer will be, see you. I can tell you goodbye for now. And the answer will be, bye. I can say bye-bye. 
and the answer will be by. When I tell you catch you later, the answer will be in a while. So there is another expression that I would like to share with you. Uh, it is how to wish good night to people. So now, good night is as well uh, part of and parcel of greetings. So greetings and responses. When I tell you good night, the answer will be good night or good night too or likewise. When I tell you have a nice dream, the answer will be likewise. So that's all for today, lot, um, guys. Um, but before leaving, I would like to share an expression with you. And the expression of the day is to bid somebody farewell. This expression is a literary way to say goodbye or good night. Thank you. See you next time. Bye for now. Thank you very much, Brother Papganaju, for the English class. As usual, it was wonderful. So we got back to Mr. Ban for your second part of the show. Mm -hmm. Now, you said a while back that you are giving chance to those people we call children. Mm -hmm. However, they are not children because the, children, the, 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 the street doesn't make children. They are our children. Mm -hmm. And you give them access to, you know, being able to speak and to learn and practice English. Mm -hmm. Is it the, the ultimate aim, or do you have others program with them different from just teaching them? Yeah, teaching is just the first part because I think that uh, whenever you are educated, whether it is in the uh, through English or other languages. Uh, you, you, you may have hope and then you may have new opportunities. Mm -hmm. uh, teaching was just a, a first step, but I also help them to have like, uh, I also help them to have a uh, 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 medical check. Mm -hmm. We go through that uh, and then we have like medical check. And then uh, Talibé, they can have like a medical check through some doctors who are my friends. And we also have any other activities that we can do with them. Because I have a garden, okay, offered by Hope for Senegal. Mm -hmm. They gave me like a, a grant where I can like, uh, with which I can have like a garden and then which that garden, uh, with the garden, uh, Taliban children, they come in the garden and then they learn about farming. And then uh, we have like a Peace Corps volunteers who help them through uh, many activities to learn about uh, farming and things like this. As well. This is a real challenge because you, we know teachers, they, they are not that rich, if I can say it so, they have not a very high salary. Mm -hmm. And you decide to help people who really need that financially. And how do you manage yeah, that well, also? For sure, I gave like one part of my salary to my, to my I'm, job. I'm sure it should happen I, that way. I, I, I dedicated that, but I know many people who really believe in my in my project, and then they are also helping. And you have partners then? I have also some, some partners, partners who are helping me. But I think that uh, uh, the first partner is me, because if I can witness, uh, whenever I was a student, I start uh, teaching through uh, in, 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 in private schools mm -hmm. so as I may have like uh, something to help those Taliban and then to finance my studies. But now I f feel that, uh, well, I get experience and then people now they start to come and then I say I, I can help you. I can give you one example. Last time mm -hmm. I got a call, someone called me and then say, you are Mr. Van and I say yes and then he said to me that, I will offer you a house, a land. Wow. So I was really surprised. I did, what, what, what happened? And then he said, that I really know your commitment and then everything you are doing through uh, Taliban children and then children as well. And then I decided to offer you a land. So I needed that land because I was about to buy a land for uh, a shelter for the Taliban children. And now I say Alhamdulillah and many, many, many other examples that I can give. People, they just can call and say, well, I will support because I know that you need support. But I am not expecting support from people. What I am doing, it's like a belief. I believe in what I am doing. But supports come easily and then, well, I say Alhamdulillah. But this is one of, one, of the, one of the policies that we have seen recently with the, our government trying to send back mm -hmm. those children home. 
like are you in touch with the member of the government who can really yeah, i have like a contact who really wants to work with me in some project so i am working with a government uh, a, 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 an agent of a ministry okay so uh, we are working in a project so as we may help many taliban to go and have educations to go in a modern dara because my biggest project is to have a shelter for taliban children so as they may come learn a quran but learn as a subject but i think that it would be great so but i am not expecting for anything from the government because i think that the government can do all but we also can do something okay and then i think this is this is uh, yeah, what we should do even Last question before we reach the end of the show with the message of the world. Mm -hmm. Message to the world. How do you get in touch with the, the children who join your your community? Yeah, well, I have like a strong interactions with the children in my community. They call me. Do you work with Dara? Yeah, I work with I work with Dara, many Dara in my community. But I am start I start working with many Dara in uh, in in Senegal at, in in Chess as well. So in my community, whenever children, they see me, whenever they are Talibé or not Talibé, they say, this is Usman, the friend of Talibé. Every morning, if ever I go to the mosque, they are waiting me somewhere. Uh, in the afternoon, they are waiting me somewhere, wherever and whenever they, are, they know the place where I am. And then I go through them and then I help. And then we have like a big and nice connection together. So uh, this is this is this is nice. I, I, I really love that job. Apart from being a teacher, I really love the fact of working with the children as well. Our guest of today, Mr. Osman Ban, president of Artists Chess, as I said it earlier, and uh, he's doing a great job with the children. And I think all of us should support him. Now, Mr. Ban, how can people get in touch with you if? need be to support or yeah any any kind of support is welcome i live in medina Fal. i am uh i people can get my contact in seven seven five six six seven two seven five or in seven six six four three eight seven seven eight so they can get me in touch as well they can get in touch with me as well in facebook mm -hmm. i also have a, a facebook page which is daraji so they can get me in touch or they can get in touch yeah. through you yeah. as well because you are a good you are you are you are a good friend and then you are like a, a role model for many english teachers and for as well many students around chess and senegal mm -hmm. and i wish you good success for this new uh, tv show which is really welcome in the uh, framework of uh, english language uh -huh. very much yeah. now we're going to reach the, the the end of the show and as i said your work needs sharing mm -hmm. because the Obama show is the place where we share and value hard work mm -hmm. with the world. What would you say to the world to inspire all of them? Well, it will be a pleasure to give like a, a message to the world. My message would be progress can be slow but a slow progress is a very lasting progress. I start with nothing, I may say, and now people, they say, like, I'm a hero. But I think that you guys, like English teachers or youngsters, you should really first believe in yourself because believing in yourself is to win the race before it starts. I really want you to help your community because, uh, Helping your community is something really great. You cannot have salvations without just by saying, I am this or I am that. Mm -hmm. But I think that you should do something great for your community. Mm -hmm. I am sometimes a little bit afraid. I have fears whenever I see some people claiming that they are politicians or they are leaders mm -hmm. without doing anything for their country. But I think that this country needs people like you, people like this guy, people like you watching. I think as well that the country, which is Senegal, the world, which is uh, universal, need very dedicated 
and very motivated people. So I really do believe that from today, you will, I may think that, change your mind and then try to work and try to help others because helping everywhere is a must for everyone. This is my message as well. And a great message indeed. Thank you very much for Thank coming. You so much. Thank you so Thank much, you. so much again for being on the show. Okay. That was our guest of today, Mr. Usman Ban. Thank you for coming, sir. Thank you. So that was your show, The Obama Show, every Saturday on your Sandbox TV. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like the video, and leave a comment. Thank you for watching. Next time, best time. That was your brother, Seydou C.